Hello friends, today we're going to do another project based on texture. And again, this time we're going to make implied texture. So we're going to draw a piece of corn that looks bumpy. Always start with your name and code and then flip the paper. Next, you're going to decide the length of your corn cob, the bumpy part. Draw two dots on your paper, one a little bit past halfway up, and then another dot in the bottom middle. Next, you are going to draw an upside down triangle that is round on the corners. It kind of looks like a piece of candy corn. And the thing is, the triangle is gonna touch the top dot and the bottom dot. On the top of your corn cob, you are going to draw the husk. The husk is at the end of the corn and it looks a lot like pointy, long leaves. Make as many husks as you'd like. Next, you are going to draw three lines that go all the way from the top of your corn cob to the tip. Check it out. I think I'm gonna add some more corn husks. Awesome, looking good. Now it's time to add some texture to this corn cob to make it look more realistic. You are going to add texture to the corn by drawing round boxes. These are the corn kernels. And by repeating all these boxes next to each other, it makes it look like the corn cob is covered in bumpy kernels. To make it look even more realistic, see how I'm using smaller and smaller and smaller boxes as I get to the ends? Even at the top, I started with a small box. I made them bigger as the shape got wider. Now it's time to add a second row of corn kernels. See how I am matching my first row with my second row? You need to make the boxes fit inside of the shape, so as the shape gets fatter or skinnier, you need to change how wide the kernels are. Now it's time to fill in the other half. When you're all done, it is time to outline your drawing. Use black. Today we're using oil pastels, and the thing about oil pastels is that you can use them if they're broken, you can use them if the tip of the pastel isn't sticking out of the paper. They're like crayons. Just peel back the paper if you need to, to expose more oil pastel.
don't stop outlining until every single kernel and every single husk is outlined. Sweet, it is time to start painting our corn cobs. We can use any colors we want to. And we're gonna use something called liquid watercolors. They come in a box like this, and the lid peels off like this. You'll see that the liquid watercolors are really watery. So try your best not to bump into this tray and spill it, that could be a disaster. Two people can use this tray at once. One person can use that side, and the other person can use this side. We've got red, orange, yellow, green, blue, purple, pink, turquoise, black, and brown. We have the exact same colors on the other side. Again, you can paint your corn any color you'd like to. You can paint patterns. You could paint it like a realistic piece of corn, yellow kernels, and a green husk. Or you can do what I'm doing and kind of use wild, crazy colors. It's just really important to clean your paintbrush every single time that you get a new color. Otherwise, these liquid watercolors are going to become all mixed together and they'll all turn brown. The yellow is especially sensitive, so really clean that brush before you use yellow, please. Also, it makes a lot of sense to paint lots of kernels with the color you have on your paintbrush. So here I'm painting a bunch of turquoise kernels. And instead of getting turquoise on my paintbrush, painting a turquoise kernel, cleaning my paintbrush, and then getting a new color to do another kernel, when I know I'm gonna have more turquoise, you might as well use it for a lot of parts. That's all I'm saying. I'm still going with the turquoise. It's looking good. I started to paint my husk, but oh my gosh, I dripped some paint on the outside of my corn. It's okay, there's a way for me to fix it. I will put a patch over it. That's what I'll do. And if this happens to you by accident, I'll fix it for you too. You don't have to get rid of your awesome corn just because this crazy liquid watercolor dripped off your paintbrush. It shall be fixed. Let's keep painting. Okie I am all done you guys even though I did leave a couple of white kernels There aren't too many and those are on purpose. Those are not peekaboo spots. I wanted kernels white When you're done painting you need to put the lid of your paint tray back on top and press down to seal it and When you carry the paint tray make sure that it is flat and level to the ground Oh, and check it out, I put a patch on my paint splatter from before. You can't even tell it happened, 